Walter Kasper born the 5th of March 1933 is a German Roman Catholic cardinal and theologian. He is president emeritus of the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity, having served as its president from 2001 to 2010. Topic: Early life. Born in Heidenheim and der Brenz, Germany, Kasper was ordained a priest on 6 April 1957 by Bishop Karl Lieprecht of Rottenburg. From 1957 to 1958 he was a parochial vicar in Stuttgart. He returned to his studies and earned a doctorate in dogmatic theology from the University of Tübingen. He was a faculty member at Tübingen from 1958 to 1961 and worked for three years as an assistant to Leo Shevchik and Hans Kung, who was banned from teaching by Vatican authorities because of his views on contraception and papal infallibility. He later taught dogmatic theology at the University of Münster 1964 rising to become dean of the theological faculty in 1969 and then the same in Tübingen in 1970. In 1983 Casper taught as a visiting professor at the Catholic University of America. He was editor of the Lexicon für Theologie und Kirch. Topic. Bishop of Rottenburg Stuttgart Casper was named Bishop of Rottenburg Stuttgart, Germany's fourth largest Catholic diocese, on 17 April 1989. He was consecrated as a bishop on 17 June that same year by Archbishop Oskar Sayer of Freiburg im Breisgau. Bishops Karl Lehmann and Franz Kuhnli served as co-consecrators. In 1993 he and other members of the German episcopate signed a pastoral letter which urged allowing divorced and civilly remarried German Catholics to return to the sacraments, to the disapproval of then Cardinal Ratzinger and Pope John Paul II. In 1994, he was named co-chair of the International Commission for Lutheran Catholic Dialogue. Topic: <inaudible> Cardinal. He was elevated to the cardinalate by Pope John Paul II in the consistory of the 21st of February 2001 as Cardinal Deacon of Ognissanti in Via Appia Nuova. Casper was one of a dozen or more like-minded cardinals and bishops who met annually from 1995 to 2006 in St. Gallen, Switzerland, to discuss reforms with respect to the appointment of bishops, collegiality, bishops' conferences, and the primacy of the papacy as well as the Church's approach to sexual morality. They differed among themselves in varying degrees, but shared the view that Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger was not the candidate they hoped to see elected at the next conclave. Upon the death of John Paul II on the 2nd of April 2005, Casper and all major Vatican officials automatically lost their positions pending the election of a new pope. He was a cardinal elector in the 2005 papal conclave. On the following the 21st of April, Pope Benedict XVI confirmed him as president of the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity. On the 21st of February 2011, he was promoted to the dignity of Cardinal Priest Pro Hac Vice. This means that the title is his personally, but that the Church of Ognissanti remains a cardinal diaconate and his future successor to the title would be a cardinal deacon unless provided otherwise. Casper was the oldest cardinal eligible to vote in the papal conclave of 2013, having been 79 when the papacy became vacant. His 80th birthday was on 5 March 2013, a few days after the resignation of Pope Benedict XVI. His eligibility to serve as an elector ended when that conclave concluded. Topic. Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity On 3 March 1999, Casper was appointed Secretary of the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity, and as such, President of the Pontifical Commission for Religious Relations with the Jews, and resigned from his post in Rottenburg Stuttgart. <laughs> Reconciliation with Jews He was critical of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith document Dominus Iesus 2000, which he believed was an offense to the Jewish people. In 2003, he wrote a text called Antisemitism, a wound to be healed for the European Day of Jewish Culture. On 10 July 2004, at the Latin American Rabbinical Seminary of Buenos Aires, the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation and the Angelo Rincalli Committee presented Casper the Memorial Mural Award 
For his lifetime dedication to the causes of understanding and reconciliation between Jews and Catholics. Topic: <laughs> International Theological Commission. Casper was a member of the International Theological Commission, an advisory body to the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith. On several occasions, in his capacity of President of the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity, he led the annual official delegation of the Holy See to the Ecumenical Patriarchate in Constantinople for the Feast of St. Andrew the Apostle. In August 2007, he led the Catholic delegation to the funeral of Patriarch Theoctist of the Romanian Orthodox Church. Topic. Society of St. Pius X In January 2009, Casper told the New York Times that he had little, if any, input on whether to lift the excommunication of four bishops of the Society of St. Pius X. Casper was distancing himself from the scandal that ensued when it transpired that one of the bishops, Richard Williamson, was found to have claimed that reports about the Holocaust were exaggerated and that no Jews died in Nazi gas chambers. As the Vatican official responsible for relations with the Jewish religion, Casper felt it necessary to comment on the action and the process leading up to the lifting of the excommunications. He said that, "...up to now people in the Vatican have spoken too little with each other and have not checked where problems might arise." He said that in lifting the excommunications, "...there were misunderstandings and management errors in the Curia." Comments on Britain In September 2010, Cardinal Casper withdrew from the papal visit to Great Britain, after reportedly saying that Heathrow Airport gives the impression of a third world country and that the United Kingdom is marked by a new and aggressive atheism. In an interview with a German magazine, he was quoted as saying, When you land at Heathrow you think at times you have landed in a third world country. Casper's secretary explained it as a description of the many different people that live in Britain at the moment." He said that when one wears a cross on the British Airways, "...you are discriminated against," a reference to the British Airways cross controversy. British Airways said that Casper had been "...seriously misinformed," in his claims about the airline, and that "...it is completely untrue that we discriminate against Christians or members of any faith." A spokesman for the Church in Britain said that Casper's remarks were not the views of the Vatican or of the Church. The Cardinal's secretary said that Casper had decided not to travel because gout made it difficult for him to walk. He also explained the Cardinal used aggressive atheism to describe people like Richard Dawkins, a prominent atheist, who have been very critical of the Pope and talked about making a citizen's arrest of the Pope while in Britain. Topic. Criticism of the Church of England and the Anglican Communion Cardinal Casper has criticized the Church of England policies in relation to female priests and the elevation of women to the episcopate. He expressed his views in the address given to the Church of England bishops meeting at 5 June 2006. He said that the ordination of women as bishops would call into question what was recognized by the Second Vatican Council Unitatis Redintegratio, 13, that the Anglican Communion occupied a special place among churches and ecclesial communities of the West." He warned that the "...restoration of full church communion would realistically no longer exist following the introduction of the ordination of women to episcopal office." He spoke at the 2008 Lambeth Conference, criticizing sharply the departures from Christian orthodoxy taken on women clergy and episcopate and even more by some member churches of the Anglican Communion on allowing the blessing of same-sex unions and non-celibate homosexual clergy. He called it the occasion for a new Oxford movement to rise among Anglicanism. <laughs> Pope Francis Pope Francis, on 17 March 2013, four days after his election as Pope, called Casper, a clever theologian, a good theologian, in the course of a sermon in which he reported that Casper's book on mercy, did me a lot of good. Topic. Proposal of admission at communion of remarried couples 
Cardinal Caspar's proposal to admit to communion the Roman Catholic couples who have remarried, while still being legally married according to the Church's doctrine, is the most controversial question in which he has been involved in so far during the pontificate of Pope Francis. On 21 February 2014, Caspar said at the Cardinal's consistory held in Rome that, "...the Church cannot question the words of Jesus on the indissolubility of marriage." Whoever expects the consistory and the synod to come up with easy, general solutions that apply to everyone, are mistaken. But given the difficulties which families today face and the huge rise in the number of failed marriages, new paths can be explored in order to respond to the deep needs of divorced people who have remarried as part of a civil union, who recognize their failure, convert and after a period of penance ask to be readmitted to the sacraments. The proposal was met with hostility by some members of the College of Cardinals, including Gerhard Müller, Raymond Burke, Walter Brandmüller, Carlo Caffera and Velasio de Paolis, who co-authored the book Remaining in the Truth of Christ, Marriage and Communion in the Catholic Church, released in English on October 2014, to refute Caspar's proposal. Caspar later admitted that he didn't have Pope Francis's support on his proposal. He praised Pope Francis' encyclica Amoris Laetitia, saying that the correct interpretation is that it allows the admission of divorced and remarried people to communion in some individual cases. 2014 General Synod During the Third Extraordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops in 2014, Cardinal Caspar told reporters that since African, Asian, and Middle Eastern countries have a taboo against homosexuality. They should not tell us too much what we have to do. Once the story broke, he denied that he made any such comment. The reporter who wrote the story, Edward Penton, subsequently produced a recording of the conversation, which verified that the cardinal had made those statements. Cardinal Raymond Burke called Casper's remarks, profoundly sad and scandalous. Casper subsequently confirmed that he had had the conversation, and offered this response for one of his remarks. If one of my remarks about Africans was perceived as demeaning or insulting, then I am honestly sorry. That was and is not my intention, and not my view at all. No one will deny that Africa's culture is different from Europe's in many respects. But I have been in Africa too often not to esteem African culture highly. Casper also said parts of the Catholic media were engaged in a deliberate dirty tricks campaign against him and said that the fact that catholic media and unfortunately a cardinal in person should participate in it in order to tear down another position morally is shameful topic <laughs> book on the eucharist Cardinal Casper published a book entitled Sacrament of Unity, the Eucharist and the Church, in 2005, a reflection on the Eucharist partly inspired by John Paul II's encyclical Ecclesia de Eucharistia. He insisted on the sacrificial character of the Eucharist, an aspect somewhat overshadowed after the Council. Topic. Book about Jesus Christ Cardinal Casper's book Jesus the Christ 1974 treats Christology in three manners, a contemporary approach, a historical approach and a factual approach. After these three approaches have been exhausted, the Christological themes of resurrection, mystery, and priesthood are treated. Ecclesiology is seen as part of Christology in this book because the Church is oriented towards Christ in his person, since Christ did not only say things, but he also did things. Topic. Works Cardinal Casper has published 17 books on subjects related to theology and Christology. Das Absolute in der Geschichte. Philosophie und Theologie der Geschichte in der Spätphilosophie Skellings Glaube und Geschichte 1970. Einfring in den Glauben 1972. Jesus der Christus 1974 Zur Theologie der Christ like an EHE 1977 Der Gott Jesu Christi 1982 Leben aus den Glauben 1995 Theology und Kirch 1987 1999 two volumes Leadership in the Church 2003 Sacrament der Einheit Eucharistie und Kirch 2004 
Wedge in die Einheit. Perspektiven für die Okumin 2005. Wo das Herz des Glaubens schlatt. Die Erfahrung eines Leben 2008, with journalist Daniel Deckers Katelisch Kirch, Wesson, Werklich Kate, Sendung 2011. Barmherzig Kate, Grundbegriff des Evangeliums, Schlüssel Christlichen Lebens 2012. Das Evangelium von der Familie. Die Rede vor dem Consistorium 2014. Papst Franziskus, Revolution der Zartlichkeit und der Liebe 2015. Die Botschaft von Amoris Letitia. Ein Freundlicher Dispute 2018. Topic. References Topic. Further reading Hootenin, Tiena Event of the Radically New, Revelation in the Theology of Walter Kasper PhD thesis. University of Helsinki. ISBN 978-951-51-2045-8. External links Casper Card. Walter. Holy See Press Office. Archived from the original on 4 September 2017. Retrieved 24 November 2017. Casper's biography at catholic-pages.com Casper's views on Dominus Iesus. Islam is a different culture. Spiegel Online, interview with Cardinal Walter Casper, 18 September 2006.